Good evening, fiends. Welcome to another episode of Sinister Parlor Podcast. I'm Zombie Barbie with my always awesome and amazing co-host, the one and only Bud Vino. Rhiannon Nicole Zombie Barbie and Bud Vino. Here we are again, Rhiannon, Saturday night, and we couldn't be more excited. Rhiannon, as I said before the show started, I'm like a little kid. I'm blushing. I'm excited. We have the most incredible guest tonight. 1978's Halloween's Judith Myers, the one and the only, the Sandy Johnson. How are you, Ms. Johnson? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> no. I'm awesome, thank you. I appreciate you having me here. Thank you so much. We're so excited. We've been, ever since we booked with you, we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She's coming on. This is incredible. So <laughs> thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sandy, please excuse our gushing uh, because we have been very excited about this. You've done so many things, and I know you have ton, as I said, legions of fans around the world. And as I said to my wife, getting to know you uh, through reading about you before the interview, I said, she's probably one of the most accommodating uh, people that I've seen and so gracious to her fans and so appreciative. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to see. What's made you so awesome throughout the year, Sam? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe great parents, great family. Um, I just, I just like and love people, um, and I especially like loving people, and I have found, uh, the horror community to just be those kinds of people, so mm -hmm. I've enjoyed getting to know them and going to the cons and visiting with them on social media. Um, I wish I had more time for that. I'm really pretty busy, but I do the best I can to keep up and say hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so with COVID, you know, affecting all of the, um, the cons and, you know, all that stuff, has that made it to where you can't connect with your fans as much or is it still going pretty good through social media? Um, social media is great. Uh, between Instagram and Facebook and Messenger and stuff, I, I have lots of interaction and that's still growing. I had, I actually had seven cons booked this year, one of which was in the UK, which I was really excited about. And actually I was supposed to film a movie while I was over there as well. But obviously all of that is on hold now, mm -hmm. but I did end up doing um, two events. One was at the Mahoney Drive-In in Pennsylvania just a couple weeks ago on Halloween. And then I did a, a horror pop-up for Houston um, uh, fan, fan films uh, in, uh, in Houston. So that was good. I got to meet a lot of people there and kind of get out and see the fans a little bit. Mm -hmm. nice. Great stuff. Sandy, I'm sure that, I know you've been asked this question before. Um, but I, I would like to ask it uh, of you myself, too. How were you discovered in terms of uh, John Carpenter's Halloween? How did you come to, to gain that role? I was, um, I was a model. I, I did a lot of different types of modeling, but probably the one I'm most famous for, of course, was Playboy in 1974. And I was with the Playboy agency, so a lot of, of films and directors would go to the Playboy agency if the film that they were doing involved nudity. Oh. So my guess is that's why they originally came to me through Playboy. And then, of course, I went out on the call for them and interviewed and all of that, and then uh, they hired me. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and you were in the June issue, which is my month. It's the month of my birth. So, <laughs> great stuff. See, it all connects. Yeah, all right. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's such an iconic scene. I almost called you, I almost called you Judith. 
<laughs> I, I almost really just called you Drew. That's, that's right. such an iconic <laughs> scene, Sandy. That a scene. lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and we know your boyfriend in the beginning didn't have the greatest stamina, um, but that the opening scene is so iconic, and I know that so many people um, are still put off in a great way by that opening scene. It's so shocking, even still, all these mm -hmm. years later. Uh, it, it's just such a, a wonderful piece of movie right. history. How do you feel about being a part of that? That must be such a wonderful thing for you. It is. It's very exciting to have been the first um, Judas Myers and, of course, the first Halloween and uh, one of John Carpenter's early films. I mean, yeah, it's very exciting. And the first very one... happy to have that, that play. And, and the yeah. first one to be killed by your brother, Michael. <laughs> I mean, I know. can say that? <laughs> Only one person on the face of the earth, literally, and she's sitting right in front of us, Rihanna Nicole. I'm still... Hold on. I'm pinching myself, and we're still here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so do you, um, since it is such an iconic role in an iconic movie, I mean, everybody knows Halloween. You know, he's one of the, everybody knows about Michael Myers. Um, do you still stay in contact with the people that were on set, you know, the actors, um, everybody that worked on set, do you still have contact with them? Have you worked in anything else with them? Um, I did not have contact with them for like 40 years, but I re-met most of them at age 40 um, because like two months before that is when they found me. So um, I was gone from Hollywood all those other years. So when they found me a couple years ago, and they took me to H40 and also the premiere of 2018. Mm -hmm. I got to meet most of them again. So now we uh, communicate when we're at the cons together. Oh, nice. That's so awesome. Because um, I was reading. So 2018, um, they showed like the archive footage, right? In like the graveyard scene or something. They showed your right. footage. Like how cool, you know, from... Right. 78 and then 2018 there you are again it's like that's so awesome that they included that in in the new movie right um they almost didn't get to because they needed my signature to do that and of course they couldn't find me so we were just within a couple weeks of it being too late when they found me so that was kind of interesting too oh wow Everything happens for a reason, Sandy. It was serendipitous. It was meant to be, and it all came together. And it's a yes, it was. Thing. Yeah, what a blessing they did. They were able to find you because, as Rianne say, that's Rianne said that's iconic and it's such a special part of of the, the history of, of the franchise. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody remembers that scene. And you always feel bad too. You're like, oh <laughs> my god, that's his sister. I can't believe you just did that to her. <laughs> Oh, man. So have you always been a horror fan? Like even before you got the part, were you a horror fan to begin with or did it come with the role? Yes, I was. I've always, um, I've always enjoyed horror. I mean, it's what my girlfriends and I did in middle school and high school. You know, that's what you did at slumber parties was mm -hmm. watch horror films. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I've always enjoyed horror films. Um, I, I prefer things that are not quite as gory as some of the later stuff is. I like psychological thrillers and I, I kind of prefer that, but, uh, yeah, I'm definitely a horror fan. Nice. Well, Rihanna, we're definitely like-minded. We've, we've had Chris Duran who played Michael Myers in Halloween H2O as a, as a big friend of the show and he's a friend of ours. And we've talked about that. We talked about that on our Halloween show. I just almost called you Judy again, Sandy, <laughs> because we t we were talking about Psycho and we were talking about all those Psycho two things like that. That that the psychological aspect is far more scary than the the blunt. You know, just because I think too when it's a psychological thing, your mind can take you in the directions that you fear the most, which is more scary, the unknown, the different, as opposed to the the. I mean, anybody can do that, but if you can build something and make people feel. Mm -hmm. And that's what Halloween did, uh, without question, because as you, I mean, I have to right. tell you, 
preaching to the choir much, but there wasn't much blood <laughs> in the original Halloween. Uh, and, and that's, again, a lot of people are like, what? It's just like right. Psycho. You know, we talked about it. So, yeah, like-minded mm -hmm. people come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and those are definitely my favorites. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you have, like, a favorite, um, I mean, I'm sure Halloween is one of them, but is there, like, a favorite franchise of yours, or do you have a, a favorite horror movie that you just always go back to and always watch? Um, well, let's see. I mean, I really do love Psycho. It's one of my all-time favorites. I love The Shining. Yes. Um, I like Scream. Yep. Uh, so those are I mean, the Exorcist. I like. Mm -hmm. So those are those are kind of my favorite types. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, we, we we mentioned Psycho, and I watched. I, I just love the scene with in Psycho with Janet Lee and Anthony Perkins because he's one of my all time favorite theatrical geniuses, and that dialogue with them when they're in the uh, office, which is so officious, uh, <laughs> and they go out into the back room, and that banter between the two of them, how authentic and just, I mean, they're not acting, they're, they're just, you're there with them, and I just love that, because you rarely see that build up, because they do build a, a, an infamous right. rapport, and she has a lot of realizations and actualizations about herself while talking to someone she doesn't realize is mm -hmm. on the edge as he is and it's all just some of it's just in pride and right. it makes it so off-putting in such a beautiful way sandy so yeah as you can see i'm also a a big fan of, of psycho i I'm a, I'm a big lover of the series mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> did um so working with jamie lee curtis um did Janet Lee ever come on set for that? Did you ever get to meet her? Was she there with Jamie Lee or anything? I never did meet her. She, um, my scene was shot in one day, I think. Mm -hmm. And Jamie Lee was there, but a lot of the other people were not. Because they were, you know, it was a separate house when they were been shooting, and it was just kind of a thing all of its own. Mm -hmm. And it was shot um, when they were pretty much finished with the whole film, so it was one of the last things that they shot. So, no, she wasn't there, unfortunately. Oh man! We always find it awesome. One of the gifts that we get on this show, uh, Sandy, is that we get to find out those behind the scenes sort of things. You know, and those little things that are really gifts that a lot of people get to hear about that aren't always out there. There's always these little nuggets we find out. So it uh, makes that nostalgic feeling even more realistic. Too. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. And you've done a lot of other things, mm -hmm. Sandy, as well uh, throughout the years. Um, obviously, you did Playboy. We know that. And you did the little movie called Halloween. Uh, not, you know, <laughs> most people know about that, yeah. Um, looks like you did a movie in 1979 <laughs> called Hot Gas Pump Girls in 1979. Um, and you've done some other things as well. Uh, jokes My right. Folks Never Told Me, Surfer Girls. Um, you've done a little bit of everything. What a wonderful life you've led so far. You, you're, you're <laughs> going strong. You've still got a ton left to do. I do. I do. I'm actually um, taking... Um, you what? I said we're excited to see it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, um, I'm okay. I'm taking um, online acting lessons every week. Wow. So that's been, I found a really good coach. Uh, I live in Texas. He lives in California, so we have to do it virtually. <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely enjoying that. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing that once a week just to kind of get back in there and Mm -hmm. Practice what a, my skills again. That's cool. What an awesome! Yeah, that's wonderful. And I think it's a it's a lesson to everybody that you can always improve. And I think when you have that mindset, um, that's where you, where you do keep getting better and landing in those things. Well, I think you once you get complacent and think that you're you've peaked, then it's time to retire. But when you have the you know the senses to know, wait a minute, I can always get better. Always till I'm in the ground. 
and then I'll grow great flowers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's great that they're doing it virtually. Absolutely. Um, did you, so have you? Yeah, always, he's very good. He, uh, no, no, you're, you're okay. Go ahead. It, it keeps delaying. So I think it hits like as we're talking. So you're, go ahead, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard. There's such a delay. Um, yeah, he, he, we've worked on several monologues together. So, um, my husband actually filmed those for me. So now they're up on, uh, IMDB and, um, a couple of other acting sites. So we're still working on one. We're working on one that's, uh, challenging. It's going to be the only one that's really horror related. So I don't want to put it up until I've really mastered it to the extent that I want to, but it's it's a creepy one for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. That's very exciting. That's great news. Yeah. So you got to try your hand at a little bit of everything, huh, Sandy? A little dramatic acting, or are you going to just test test your range? Yep. Which <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Well. Sandy, I know your time is limited um, and that you're so busy. Um, and I, I think uh, at this point, Rhiannon, I think it's been about 45 minutes we've gone, hasn't it? It has been, yep. And so, and again, we don't want to take up too much of your time, and you've been far more than gracious. And uh, we hope you've had a great time mm -hmm. as doting fans. Um, we very much appreciate your time. Yeah, of we course. We you it again. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep supporting you, Sandy. Uh, I'm going to call you Judith, if I could. It's just, it's close. <laughs> it's close. Okay. It's always right there. It's always right there. No, thank you so much, um, Sandy, for being so gracious and fun and letting people know a little bit of behind the scenes uh, things on Halloween and other things you've done and uh, letting people in on some of the future things that you have going on they can get excited about. Um, so we wish you the absolute best of luck in the future. Uh, Sandy, is there anything that uh, you want to plug or anyone you want to give a shout out to? Because we'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, my agent, Rick and Rick, he's off. He's awesome. I'm so grateful for him for finding me and supporting me and helping me grow out in the con community. Um, my Facebook is... The Real Sandy Johnson. My Instagram is Unicorn Sandy J. And I have two upcoming films. The one I'm going to shoot in the UK is uh, its working name is Jim Creeps, like strange people. <laughs> and Jim as in the place you work out. <laughs> and also another one, it's... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Hungarian, but it's Vias and Victory, U-L-P-E-S, and then it's Lust for Revenge. Mm -hmm. And the first one they did, the prologue, uh, was really, really good. And so when they asked if I wanted a little uh, cameo in it, in the continuation, and I said, you betcha, because it's it's good. I think it's yeah. it's really oh, yeah. good. So That's awesome. Uh, anyway, so those are the two things I'm looking at right now. Hopefully more will come. Hell yeah, definitely. I'm actually Hungarian, which is like, I can't speak it, but my whole, on both sides, my family is Hungarian. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. It's, I think it's going to be a great film. The prologue to it was really good. I was impressed. So I was happy to be a part of the next, the next episode. Yeah, definitely. That's great. But if you want to do your shout okay. outs. I do. Thank you, Rhiannon, so much. First and foremost, Rhiannon Nicole, Zombie Barbie. My best bud, my partner in crime, I love you, kid. Thank you so much for all your hard work that you do behind the scenes and everything you do. You're incredible. Thank you. To my wife, Allison, I love you, baby. Thank you for being born. To my boys, Daddy loves you. Thank you for being born. The day you guys were born was the day I was reborn. So thank you for giving me life. Thank you so much. Rhiannon, I want to give a special shout-out, if I could, to a gentleman named Eric Reels. I saw a post from Eric, and I won't get into the details. He's... He's in pretty heavily ensconced in the parental equality movement, as you know I am, Rhiannon. Mm -hmm. And this post, his reaction to this post was genuine love. This guy has a, a huge heart 
And it really blew me away the way he reacted with love, where most people, including me, when I first saw it, was pretty upset, and it had nothing to do with me. The point is, his reaction was totally based on, on and in love, and it took a real man to react the way he did, and he gained my respect. As I say, Rhiannon, you don't demand respect. You command it with the way you act and react to people and the love and compassion you show for people. So, Eric, thank you for being a real man. We love you from Sinister Fowler Podcast. Sam Fowler, Ryan Brochu, John Mondu, and a man, Chris Duran, Michael Myers from H2O, and Sandy Johnson, Judith Myers. Thank you so, so, so much <laughs> for helping to make our dreams here on the show come true. We wish you continued success. We love you. Thank you so much. Rhiannon. All right. So again, I want to thank you so much, Sandy, for coming on. It's you're a legend, and to have you on here, it's we're honored. So thank you so so much. Um, I want to thank you know Bud Vino always for being my co-host. Um, couldn't do this without you. So you know I just I love having you by my side. I love you. Love your family. Uh, my Indie Productions, who they support the entire indie community. So be sure to follow them on myindieproductions.com. They also have uh, Twitter, Facebook. And Instagram, um, Atai Guberman, he's amazing at supporting us artists and getting us out there. Uh, Crazy Ink Publishing for publishing my books, uh, Broken Halo, Broken Halo Blood Curse, and Broken Halo Witches Game. Right now you can go to possessedbypassion.com and get a box set of 21 books with 21 different authors for 99 cents. So be on the lookout for that when it all releases. And with that, I am done. So thank you again, Sandy, so much. I really, we really, really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Thank you for having for having me. It was great to meet both of you, and I wish you great success as well. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.